Hi, awesome uh, disease and public health students. We're gonna do some silly demonstrations today of heart disease. You're gonna need a few things. Uh, first of all, you're gonna need a Ziploc bag. Uh, sandwich bags are gonna work best, um, which are these kind of smaller ones that look like this. Um, you can use a large Ziploc bag too if you needed to. Uh, if you don't have Ziploc bags at home, you can probably use a trash bag or any other kind of plastic bag. You just need to be able to seal it and um, poke a hole into it. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, for cutting that, you're going to need a sink to do this demonstration in because it's going to involve water. And you're going to need some kind of like blocker. Um, so butter works well. If you've got butter in the sink, you can get three slices of butter. Um, if you don't have butter or you want to use that, um, margarine might work well. You can use toothpaste um, or even something like rice. Uh, or if you wanted to be particularly accurate, if you have fried anything recently, get that bacon grease. You could put that on, on the inside. So. Uh, here's what you're going to do. Uh, you're going to get a Ziploc bag, or again, your trash bag, or whatever other bag you can find. And if it's a Ziploc, we want to cut off a very, very small part of the corner. You want to make an incredibly very small hole, right? Because again, the, even your largest artery, your aorta really, um, I mean, your aorta is actually pretty big. But we're going to make a, a tiny little hole right there. Um, and if it's a, a trash bag or anything like that, just poke a hole in it. And then fill it up with water. In your sink here. And then seal it. Okay, I think I got it. Nope. This bag doesn't want to seal. I think I got something. There we go. Okay. So, and then once you've got it sealed, you can pinch that hole closed so that it's containing it. Uh, and so this is gonna represent a ventricle. This is the um, chamber of the heart that pushes blood out. So the water is representing our blood and the little hole we made is gonna represent um, the arteries that the blood is sent through. Um, they start very large, but then they get smaller and smaller as you go through the body. And so just like a ventricle, what I'd like you to do is, um, you know, it's good to kind of get a good grip on the end to make sure it stays sealed and then just give it a good squeeze. And that is how your heart shoots blood out like that. Um, and notice that my it's shooting all the way across. I have a good amount of pressure going, okay? So that is a healthy ventricle. All right, we are now gonna try to demonstrate three common heart conditions, uh, plaque buildup, coronary artery disease, and mitral valve prolapse. I'm not gonna tell you which demonstration represents which. That's something you have to do in your video. So you're gonna record yourself doing these things but I want you to tell me which one do you think represents plaque buildup, which one is coronary artery disease, and which one is mitral valve prolapse. First activity you're gonna do, you're gonna start off the same way, fill up your bag with water. Again, this is our ventricle filling with blood. Seal it, just like before. I why this bag doesn't wanna seal. There we go. Okay, pinch off the hole. And this time, before you start, I want you to actually break that seal on the back. And again, if you're using a trash bag, just if you twist it, maybe untwist it a bit or something, but you wanna have a little bit hole of a hole in the back end. And so once again, try to squeeze the water out and you'll notice that I didn't get nearly as much water going out uh, or as much blood going out of that exit valve that I made. It all went backwards out the back. That's a bit of a hint there. Okay, that's the first activity. Second activity is gonna start off the same way. Fill up your bag, seal it. And this time, you're gonna grip it from the back, but this time I'd also like you to try to pinch that hole you made off just a little bit, not right, not entirely, and then do the same thing, try to squeeze. And hopefully you notice that it's a lot harder. Blood definitely is not coming out nearly as efficiently because there seems to be a bit of a, right, that it's a lot of heart pressure that's going on there. It's definitely more than 50% blocked. Now, granted, I'm just using my fingers to block it, so let's now think of another way we could actually block it. The last activity, um, take your bag and toss in one or more of those various items that I listed. I've actually made a nice mix of all of them. Nice little gross rice, toothpaste, butter, 
uh, everything. But again, it's okay if you only have one of those items too, but get that in the bag. This is a, oh man, this is gonna be very nice. Once again, fill it up with water. This time you can seal it entirely. Okay, seal it off. All right, and same thing. Let's just get a good grip on the back. Give it a couple squeezes. Oh, kind of got blocked there temporarily. I don't know if you saw that little piece of butter got in there. Whoa. And we're getting all that blood out of the heart. What I'm hoping you notice is that after we're done, if you look on the inside, you've got this kind of gunk buildup, right? You can definitely feel the butter, the oil. And if you look at the hole in particular, there might be a little gunk built up around it. Okay, so just film those three activities. And as you're filming, please tell me which of the three you think each one represents. Which activity represented plaque buildup, which one represented coronary artery disease, and which one represented mitral valve prolapse. Uh, please make sure to do this over a sink. Try not to get water everywhere. And remember to clean up after yourself afterwards. Thanks.